Uh, as far as that game with Minnesota went tonight, a couple of guys, uh, Anthony Edwards and uh, D'Angelo Russell, getting it done, combining for 59 of the 109 points the Timberwolves scored in their 109-104 win over the Clips. Here's a little more post-game yakety-yak. There it is. I knew what it was coming into this game, so I wasn't going to allow Pat to, you know, do his antics and try to get me flustered. Um, I knew what it, it's 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 all for show. Um, it's for the crowd, gets the crowd involved. I love it. You know, I love it. I miss it. I miss it. He do it on our on on our side because um, it's contagious. But uh, you know, I think when he's in that that mode, it ignites the team. It ignites the arena. And, um, you know, you need energy guys like that. Man, I wanted this so bad. I wanted this one so bad. Uh, this is just the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, to play in, to be able to beat them. Um, I mean, another goal scratched off. I told you he was going to the playoffs. Everybody, most of y'all, y'all looked at me like I was crazy when I first said that. What did you say to your old teammates at the end there when you were standing in front of the bench? Take their ass home. <laughs> Long flight to L.A., yeah, take y'all last home. Yeah, you know, I'm, it, it, it's, it's deeper that for me. You understand? I gave my blood and sweat and tears to that organization. Uh, I mean, you guys know the story, especially you. Um, blood, sweat, and tears to just be ridden off like that. You know, uh, he's injury prone. He's old, this, this, that, that. To be able to come here, play them in a the play-in, beat their ass. No other feeling, man. No other feeling. He had said, if you're not going to pay me, trade me. That's right. They yeah, did. Pat. I end up in Minnesota. <clears throat> yeah, big Pat. And, uh, but you know what Paul George says is, is right about guys like that. I don't care what sport it is. There's always got those guys who are lightning rods who, I guess, if you're playing with him and you see the effect he has and gets crowds going and that kind of thing, you're saying, oh, yeah, my guy. Yeah, but, yeah, but just order, infuriates you on the other side. In order to beat them, you can't let them win. Because when you let them win, then you get more antics like that. Uh, listen, he, he played his game, but the guy who deserves the game ball tonight is <clears throat> D'Angelo Russell. Edwards did what he, he did. Cat didn't show up at all. D'Angelo Russell came. I like when he does the ice water in his veins. He took a lot of shots. No, 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 and he hit them. They're great shots. Pat did get the uh, crowd into the game. That is what he does, but when you're going against an irritant, only way to shut them up is to not let them win and send their ass home. What, Chuckster? D'Angelo Russell and your man for your little your, Anthony Edwards, your man the Bulldog. That was the story tonight. No if, no ands or buts. Pat got his antics, but that's don't act like wherever he's been. They just been putting up banners. Well, just because yeah. he got energy. Stop it, please stop it. Yeah, I, I mean, um, please stop for it. them to move forward. Let's we talk about for yeah, them. Get a please, please stop, stop it. it. You know, for them for them to move forward. I, I think the the uh, the difference is, you know, <laughs> at no point in that game, um, on a consistent basis, this consistently, I, did I see a lot of late game, end of quarter, shot clock management. And to me, that's how you win playoffs. Man. It's great. This team that hasn't been, you know, in a, in a while, it hasn't been in the playoffs. Like, there should be some a level of excitement that goes through the franchise, through the organization. They went there three years ago. Yeah, but you know, three, four years. Yeah, like, uh, three years. Three, three years ago, still. Yeah. You know, yeah. you haven't been in the playoffs in three years. You know, it's the second on, time in eighteen years. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, but if, if I hadn't been on it, right? And you've, been been, the, and you've had the number one pick in the draft two, two years. Yeah, but if but I was on a team it, that was only first of all, they're not in the playoffs yet. I mean, they are yeah, now. They are. But I'm just looking around. I'm saying there should be a level of excitement. Come on, man. You don't think there should be a level of excitement? Yes. Yes. That's all I said. But that was that was more than a level. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That was it. That was another level, as my man Steph Marbury said back in the day. Great job, another level, another level, another level, another level. Great job, Minnesota. Come on, man. Have fun tonight. Well, let's just. I mean, I'm I'm trying to see if Pat has anything. With Memphis, because he was traded by the Clippers to Memphis in August of uh, 21. No, his job, Ernie, Ernie. And then he was traded by the Grizzlies to Minnesota. Yeah, but his yeah. job, his job. I know, but I'm just saying. He's, hey, his he was job going back to, in the Clippers. He's today. a hard worker. He's a hard worker. little guy. His, his job is but to let's make just, sure. Let's just give, get the flowers where they're supposed to be tonight. Let's yeah, stop. But, you know, his job will be to make 
things uncomfortable for Ja Morant. Sure. And uncomfortable when I say that, not just being irritant, but there is a point where he does make you take shots that are not normal. Or he can defend you and strip you in certain areas of the floor, which is top notch. Why didn't you pick him then? I don't think that they I don't think they play smart enough to win basketball. That's they don't play early. smart enough. They got a lot of talent. I think they have a lot of talent, but I don't think that they made the same basketball plays that the Grizzlies will make in a calmer we fashion. We shall see. That's all. That's all. He's, he makes an impact. He's, he goes to the playoffs just about every year, man. He, and he's back in there. He's back in there again. Tonight. I love Pat Beverly, man. I love him. And, 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 and uh, speaking of uh, another You level. know, last night we played at another level from, the, the, from game three. You know, and I told you we were going to play that way. You know, now we're going to step it up another level. We got to go to a whole another level. If we want to win the series, we got to go three more levels higher than that, and then we got to go four more levels higher than that. You know, we can't stay at the same level. You know, every game has to go up. That is going deep into the archives from 2003. I, I remember that. It was step wow. up my guy, y'all. As y'all know. Uh, that's how we that's have to bring tremendous. it back. Yeah, another level. Uh, what's buzzing on uh, on social? Kenny celebrated his new hairline. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey Makeup. Oh, Mickey, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey Makeup got me straight. Up, got me straight. Got me straight. I stole a tan, baby. I've been in there. No yeah. Yes, it that no that's, what, that's what food poisoning does to you. Oh. <laughs> there ain't no tan. <laughs> Back to wrap things up in just a second. Oh, you got that new hairline, you <laughs> 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 like, three-inch joke.